everybody. Uh, my name's uh, Colin Consul. I want to speak to you about gateway management at scale. Uh, I think we heard a lot this morning and uh, this afternoon about how many sensors there are, that's great, how much backend and how much data is going, but all that stuff needs gateways. And I've also heard from many people uh, over the last couple of days about how the heck am I going to manage all those gateways at scale. So let's look at a gateway. This is my gateway. This is literally my gateway. You might tell I, I actually live up in the country, hence I'm wearing the checkered shirt and the jeans and not a suit. Uh, this is my gateway. That is my wellhouse. And inside the well, well, wellhouse, you'll see uh, a microwave backhaul and you'll see my LoRaWAN gateway in my wellhouse. And it was a hell of a lot of fun setting this thing up. Uh, it was a lot of effort, but very rewarding when it was done. But you imagine doing 10,000 of those, 40,000 of those. It's going to be real tough. Um, we'll see how the clicker goes. There we go. So my name is uh, Colin Constable. I'm the co-founder and CTO of AtSign. Uh, my background is in uh, large-scale infrastructure. Uh, so think telcos and banks. And I moved, you might be able to tell, I'm an English guy, but I live in California here. Moved to Silicon Valley to do scale at Juniper Networks. And we started uh, AtSign uh, four years ago to deal with scale uh, because we could see it on the horizon. So uh, managing gateways at scale is a drag. Uh, why is it a drag? Well, because most of the gateways I see at the moment are really set up to set up an individual gateway, and that's painful enough. They are not really set up for scale. There's misconfigurations. There's change management. You've got to do truck rolls. There's this horrible thing called an IP address that nobody wants to deal with, but you also need one. And then you've got patching. And it's just a world of hurt, an absolute world of hurt. And you really haven't got the tools currently to deal with that world of hurt uh, until now. So this is what we've been working on. Um, and our technology is useful for many other things, but it's super useful for gateways. So uh, I am a technologist, so I'm going to show you things that probably nobody else is going to show you, because I'm going to take you down to the command line, uh, because you really need to go to the command line and deal with technology, not sort of PowerPoint stuff. So I'm going to show you much more about technology and less about PowerPoint stuff and actually show you stuff working. What you need is a control plane for your gateways. And we'll hopefully go through and help you understand exactly what that means. So IP addresses. We all need them, but we don't have to know them. I never want to know what the IP address is of the gateway is. Because if I know about it, that means I've got to manage it. And if I've got to manage it, then that's a whole world of pain. What I'd love to be able to do is have something else. And I'm going to show you on the screen here uh, what that something else is. Uh, you'll see there's no IP addresses here mentioned, and yet I've logged into something. I don't need to know what the IP address is. Just like you don't know, need to know what the telephone number is of your friend, because you're, you never see what your friend is in your telephone. You just see what the name. Why the hell isn't that the way in networking? That's exactly what we've done here. No. IP addresses, and yet it all works. Transformational for if you're managing lots and lots of gateways. Other things that are a pain in the neck if you're trying to manage hundreds of thousands of gateways, network address translation, 1918 addresses, firewall rules, mangle sets, IP tables. Nobody wants to manage them. Why? Because they're a pain in the neck, but they also, because they are a pain in the neck, you have to hire people that can understand all this stuff, and they don't come cheap. And every time you roll out another gateway, you've probably got to get only a quarter of a person, or a fifth of a person, or a fiftieth of a person to manage all this madness. What you really want to do is say, deny uh, all inbound. You want to be able to connect to things, like your gateway. So we see here, there's, a, with, there's an IP address. It's out on the interwebs. And we're going to SSH into a gateway, an IoT gateway. It's called IoT Device 1. We'll look at what the IP address is. So we've definitely logged into this thing. We didn't know what the IP address is. We're going to look to see what the IP address is. And then we're going to run a tool called Nmap, which will tell you how many ports are open on that device. So anybody guess how many ports there are going to be open on that device? It has to be one, right? You have to have port 22 open. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to SSH into it. Uh, yeah, that's not open either. This is perfect security. Being able to log into something without having to know the IP address and have no attack service on that gateway. 
So we've had uh, companies come to us today and say, I can't deploy, you know, my customer is saying I want to deploy LoRaWAN, I want to do it now, but they've got to deploy a private network. I can't get, a, get my LoRaWAN gateways in until that private network's out there. Uh, so I'm stalled for nine months, 12 months. Yeah, help me. Well, you know, what if your LoRaWAN gateway had no attack service and yet you could still get into it, get into the UI, get into all that stuff? Then you could unblock, then you could use the public internet, then you could use cellular backhaul and yet have no risk. That's the sort of thing you'd need to be able to do to deploy at scale. <sighs> VPNs. Nobody wants to manage VPNs. Nobody, nobody I know wants to manage a VPN. At the moment, I see lots of gateways that have to be connected by a fire on a VPN. So let's not worry about those things either. What if everything is end-to-end -end encrypted from the gateway to wherever you want to send the data? That would be great. So what I'm going to show you here is something called TCP dump. It's going to dump all those packets out so you can see them on the screen. And if I could see the, any of the clear data in those packets, then we, we're not end-to-end -end encrypted. So we're going to... Uh, make that connection, this is a connection going in, and you'll see everything's end-to-end -end encrypted. So you don't need a VPN if everything's already encrypted. That would be crazy. So no VPN, no firewalls. This, this is looking good. You can manage things at scale. This is the other thing that's a bane of anybody managing at the scale. You know, we've got a really nice UI. I'm like, don't care. I can tell you, I come from a large banking environment, and uh, one of my colleagues at AdSign comes from Google. There's no Google UI. Everything's driven by software. Everything's software defined. You want to be able to software define all your configurations on all of your gateways. You want to be able to log into a single place, change a file, which is your configuration file. And once you've changed that configuration file, it should auto magically get out to the gateway, but in the same way as we just logged in without having to know the IP address without having to have a firewall rules, without having to have any attack service. That file should magically appear on the gateway, and you should be able to do postscripts and prescripts to get that file uh, config up and, up, up and ready and updated. So that's exactly what we're doing here. We're going to edit a file. Uh, down the bottom, we've got uh, three LoRaWAN gateways. That's the config file. We're, gonna, we're just editing here the config file, so we're updating the file. And this is on a, my, my centralized management machine. So we're updating it for gateway one. We exit it. That's it. We're done. I, I've exited it. The software should now just magically update that file. So you can see now, bottom left, config's updated for gateway one. This stuff scales. You have tens of thousands of gateways. And you can manage them in one place with no attack service at all. So. Nobody wants to be locked into our stuff or your stuff. Nobody wants that. You want to be able to get gateways from everywhere and be able to run things at scale. So let's not worry about that either. Everything we do is open source. It's under BSD3. If you're a gateway manufacturer, go, go to our repo. Steal as much as you like. Use it. It's great. Uh, I encourage you guys to look at it. Uh, we're fully extens extensible. But if you can address things in the same way, I think we had a speaker earlier on saying, yeah, we need standards for this stuff. Not just for the LoRaWAN stuff, we're managing the infrastructure. So, what do we support is the next question. Support pretty much anything, but if you want us to support other things, then uh, game on. We're happy to do that as well. Just let us know. Uh, we get to work and uh, make sure that we can support your particular infrastructure. Um, yeah, whatever you choose to run on your hardware gateway. Sound interesting? Game on, right? <laughs> All right, good. So this is me, Colin at AdSign. This is uh, the company's uh, website. If you want to look at the, the code, this is our public uh, open source repo on GitHub. Uh, if you've got any questions at all, just come speak to me or drop me an email. And I'm out of time. So any questions? Hopefully I did that in enough time for you, Wanky. <laughs> Hopefully that was in enough time so we're not holding everybody up. <laughs>